One of my favorite ways to practice locomotion is to pick two or three skills and build them into a closed chain sequence. So what do I mean by that? I mean a set order of things. So I'm gonna create this sequence. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, except I know the three skills I wanna work on. So I wanna work on an underside roll, which is a floor pattern, and also a shoulder roll variation, which is another floor pattern. And I wanna incorporate the Gumby, which is a cartwheel soft acrobatic skill. So. I'm gonna try and put those three skills into a sequence and fill it with some other skills that I know and just build a closed chain sequence to play with for my workout today, for my practice session. And if you wanna follow along at home, I'll try to break it down as best I can so you can learn as well. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first skill I'm working on is this underside roll technique. So let's have a look at that. I got this artificial turf to protect me from the animals here in Australia. A lot of animals want to bite you and sting you. And still, I've got giant march flies that come and like to be here. I've got these giant green ants. I've got these jumping ants. I've got bees, wasps, you name it. They still come and attack me on the turf. Okay, so I'm starting to figure out this underside roll. Uh, it feels like you've really just got to slide that arm and foot through nice and straight to get the extension and then turn it into the roll. So from this quadrupedal position, I'm going to direct one arm underneath and the same foot from that side and I'm going to slide them both as far as I can and then I initiate my roll back, pivot my knees Roll back through and down. The other skill I want to build into my sequence today is a shoulder roll variation, which I'm still practicing. like so. My goal with this shoulder roll is to try and maintain contact with the ground, with my feet, the whole way through. So it requires a little bit of flexibility in the upper back. The third skill I wanna try and build into this sequence is the Gumby, which is a cartwheel variation. Uh, I'm by no means absolutely perfect at this. So all of these three skills I am developing and working on, um, and that's why I'm practicing them. And I'm sharing this process and this practice with you just to show you what I go through to practice these skills over and over and over. And a really fun way to do that is to build it into these sequences. So. Let's have a look at my Gumby.
The hardest thing with the Gumby is committing to that half twist. You really have to open up and commit to opening that second arm, that trailing arm to go over rather than just keep it in front of you and reach down, which is the sort of the cheater's method. Really allowing that arm to sweep over um, requires a lot of trust. So start this one on the grass or a soft surface before you do it on anything too hard. Um, I've drilled this enough to feel confident with that, with that action. It usually takes me a few reps though to open up and start to get that twist happening. See what I mean by opening up that arm? As I go down, instead of just reaching here, I really wanna take that over as I, as I twist to create the beautiful Gumby effect. Ooh. So now I've drilled those three skills in isolation on their own just to get a feel for them. It's time to start building my sequence. So I've got a few ideas on how I'm gonna piece this together. So what I'll do is I'll just start fumbling around with it and just see what goes with what and try to create eight, nine, 10 pieces in this sequence, bit by bit joining one, two, three, four pieces at a time until eventually we have something that resembles a nice little flow, a nice little sequence. I'll give myself about an hour for this whole process from drilling in isolation through to finish. So. Let's see what we come up with. So it's all pretty rough in the early sketches. So think of it as sketching. You're just sketching out your rough drawing before you start to refine those lines and slow it down and get that control. So initially we just wanna feel our way through the sequence and then we'll start to refine it and polish it bit by bit. Okay, so I've used a few extra pieces from my existing 
locomotion vocabulary here. Let's just take a look at those quickly. There's a sweep into a bit of a leg corkscrew to get into the shoulder roll. So if we look at that, when I come out of the Gumby, all I'm doing is a sweep and I tuck that leg under like so into that 90-90 seated position to then start my shoulder roll. Like so. So that sweep is a, a back sweep and then I tuck the knee under into that 90-90 position to get my shoulder roll started. You'll notice that there's also two skills added to the end of this sequence that I'll show you just quickly now. One is the back side step, which is completed from the low squat position. We turn one way, extending the outer leg, put the butt over the other heel, reach behind us with the hands shoulder width apart. We back step under the first foot and then sweep the second foot around, release the first hand, suck that foot back into the squatting position, return to the squat. To go back the other way, you just simply reverse it. You get this nice slidey effect. The second one was a cartwheel variation using the QDR. So if you're not familiar with the QDR, I've already done a longer video on that. It's essentially an elbow lever, but the skill that I'm working with is cock one leg up, place the Look to get that contact with the hip, over. And we just cartwheel out like so. With a bit more speed, it's easier. Like that. So if you want to check out the QDR, I've got another video on that. I'll leave a description link in the description here somewhere. But this one's really fun. Nice and glidey, super fun, not that hard. And that is it for today's video, guys. If you want to learn more about locomotion, I have a very extensive online course you can take. A link to that in the description below. I've got a free ultimate lizard crawl guide with over 13 lizard crawl variations. I'll link to that below as well. If you like this video and you got some value out of it, hit the like button for me, please. And don't forget to subscribe. Help me grow this channel. Help me get locomotion out there and help people move and feel better. See you in the next video.